By popular request, I'm going to show you how to make my krill based pellets. These pellets work well for catching carp, barbel, bream and catfish. They are dead easy to make and only require a few simple ingredients. You can always take them a stage further by adding your own spice blend to the mix. To get started, you need one cup of plain flour added to a large mixing bowl. Next up is krill meal. This can be purchased online or even at your local tackle shop. If you can't get krill meal, then a standard fish meal mix will work just as well. One cup of the krill meal is next to go in. This is followed by one large egg. Just give everything a quick mix at this stage. Now you'll need to add small amounts of corn or vegetable oil into your mix. You want to keep adding the oil until you're left with a crumbly damp mix that almost forms into a dough when squeezed in the palm of your hand. You now want to wrap up the mix and place it into your fridge for at least 30 minutes. This allows the krill meal to infuse in the oil. After 30 minutes, remove from the clean film and place it straight back into your bowl. You want to add two teaspoons of salt to the bowl. Here I'm using rock salt. A quarter of a cup of white sugar is next. Knead the dough until all the ingredients have combined. To bind all the mix together, add a quarter of a cup of water to the bowl. Mix until you're left with the wet paste. Wholemeal flour is perfect for pellets. Add small batches of flour and mix as you go until you're able to form a good dough. Taking sections of your dough, spread it out to the thickness of your preferred pallet and then use a marker pen lid or something similar to cut out your individual pellets. There should be no need for flouring the tool as the oil in the mix prevents sticking. Place your pellets on some greaseproof paper and cook in the oven for 15 minutes at 150. After cooking, allow them to cool down to room temperature before touching them. Once cool, you should be left with a fairly hard pellet. The pellets are easy to bait up with a baiting needle and make great individual hook baits. You can even use bait screws on them too for speed. To store them, simply place them in an airtight container for freshness. So there you go. A no fuss krill based pellet made at home ready for your next fishing session. Show your support by subscribing to our channel today and to watch future Bait Vault episodes.